Hello and welcome. You join me for what is Thursday evening's content. We're on the last 24 hours of the Serie A team of season players, as you can see there on the screen. Um, they um, There was the end of a season today, earlier on today, so they have announced the new season, which is the Shape Shifters promo. We will have a look at the new season objectives and parts of that, the season progress, you know, the kind of new season thing that is there. As it, show, as it shows here, message from the FIFA team, Season 7 is here. Welcome to Season 7. Starting starting with Ultimate Team in Season, keep your eyes peeled for some new objectives each week. Some will remain available until the end of the season without expiring. Additionally, additional weekly and daily refreshing objectives mean you'll have multiple ways to earn progress and earn XP rewards, including shapeshifter player items with stat boosts and new positions. As you see on the right-hand side, a Thiago Silva striker card and a Tony Cruz CDM card. Obviously, that's not a big shift, but there you go. So, yeah, we've got a new season, so we'll have a look at that first. Why have I got 20? Oh, yeah, because of rewards, isn't it? Keep forgetting, keep forgetting. Right, so... We're not even hiding anything here. This is just what's here. Daily objectives and weekly objectives. Um, so, yeah, as you can see, XP rewards, 125 for each of these things, and then 1,000 XP for completing them all. Does that mean we have some actual things in moments today? We'll have a look at that. The rest is fairly simple. We'll just take time. And the daily objectives are back to play one, score three. That's fine there. Milestones, we've got a silver star to complete, and then we've got another one of these. A five a three times eighty-five plus will open that today for sure. For sure. Um and yeah. Still got silver bees, silver stars, silver cups, and then the play like a pro thing, which I have not got to the end of. Only if it, I've only won one. I didn't play any at all yesterday. So Still no events? Still no events. So season progress. We'll go through this quickly. Um, it's fairly straightforward. Um, aesthetic there. 75 plus there. Aesthetic there. Badge. 83 double. And then the choice of 584s or one team of the season. Have, do you want to play the odds? Do you want a guaranteed? Up to you. Aesthetic there. Tifo. 183 plus there. And then there's another aesthetic Tifo. 383 players there, and then another choice. You've got 92 Thiago Silva with a five star week for four star skill moves. Good old striker card, very even shooting. You're probably looking an engine on this guy. The agility and the balance and the dribbling needs to be pushed up to the extent that the engine is the obvious addition to this card. Will give you perfect sprint speed and 92 acceleration. The shooting is so good, you don't really need to touch it. The passing is good, but can't help with a little bit more boost but the agility the balance of dribbling will really help this one really good power heading with good jumping heading actually already and the strength is decent as well so yeah a 92 Thiago Silva striker or an 85 times 10 pack you've got to have your choice do you want the Chelsea Premier League striker or do you want the 85 times 10 I am always inclined to go with the fodder pack just because it's quantity over the quality of the one player, but it's up to you. It's, everybody's got their choice. Then we've got the blend badge aesthetic. We've got the 81 double, the TIFO again as an aesthetic, 86 times two pack. Then you've got seven times 84 or a shapeshifter player pack. Obviously, this means. 15,000 XP aren't available now, but by the time 15,000 XP are actually available, there will be a shapeshifter pack, uh, shapeshifter team available from packs, and therefore you've got the chance to get one of those players here. But obviously they'll throttle the XP until it gets there. Uh, then we've got the TIFO, then we've got 85 times 2 then we've got another badge, then we've got 84 single pack, then we've got, this is a bit of a weird one, 89 Park Ji Sung. It's a decent card, but at this stage, is it really? Now, whether that will still apply to Man United, I don't think it can at this stage of the season. I think this card is what it is and not going to get any higher. Or a 25 84 player pack. To me, nobody's going to pick Park. 
surely you go with the 25. Anyway, then we've got an aesthetic, weird ball people kind of thing. 281s, another weird ball thing. 286s, 585s, another aesthetic. 281s, 1082s, another aesthetic. Um, Shapeshifter Cruise, who has got 5 star, 5 star, CDM, lots of positions, lots of 99 stats. Reactions, composure, short pass, long pass, really good defensive awareness for a CDM 95, really good stamina. But most importantly for a Cruise, you've got the agility, you've got the balance, you've got the dribbling. All needs an engine. In my opinion, yes, you're going to lose out on the passing, but the balance will max up. The acceleration, the pace will go 96, 92, and the dribbling goes up to 98, the balance up to 98, the agility up to 95. It's almost perfect dribbling. For me, that's the chemistry card of choice. The defending is really good. It's a bit under underwhelmed by the heading accuracy, but yeah, that's really good dribbling, uh, defending. And no trace. No trace is okay because five star, five star makes up for it. And the other option with him is 3084s. Now that to me is a much tougher choice. And depending what shapeshifter players are in packs at the time, that would that will influence my choice there. Page seven is 285s, 183, one weird gold ball thing, one of 385 plus player pick. Then you've got the 1085s versus the famous player pick item description 23, 43, 28 player pick. Now, everybody's always tempted by that, but it's a choice to be made. They've got the weird bull TIFO thing, animated TIFO, so it's a bubble effect. 384s, 585s, 286s, and then the for the highest, you've got a 5-star, five 5-star, five Five foot nine, ninety-five rated Del Piero, who can as a cam, can as a striker. Now the shooting is really good. The dribbling is really good. Agility and balance is a little lower. The physicals are a little weak. Who knows? Depending on what the shapeshifters have at this stage, you might get a better card already than this. I mean, it's quite. How do I say? It's quite a meisterish card in the way that the shooting, the passing, and the dribbling are already really high. Physicals are a little low and the pace is high already, which means you've got a choice. You're not going to get all the benefits you want. You could go Hawk, which will boost the physicals, boost the pace up, but doesn't touch your agility balance, if that's okay with you. Um, and it's a little wasted on the shooting, only shot power really will be affected. But you could go with a, like an Architect, for the passing and the physicals, but then you don't get the pace. It's just a choice of how you want it. It's entirely up to you. They got five, 25 times 85, and then you got a one of four prime team of the year, um, if, uh, for birthday and trophy titan icons, which again is a choice. Everybody will pick different things. Some will go with the guarantees. Some will go with the fodder. It's entirely what you want to go with. So let's take a quick peek at the moments and then we'll go to store and then we'll go to SBC. Hopefully we've got a 10 coin pack. So this is new. We've got a Robin Van Persie icon moments. So a 10 available there. Then we've got another Ted Lasso thing for AFC Richmond. And then we've got another eight there. So why is that ticked to say I've done it? That's weird. Nine there. That's tick to say I've done as well. And ten there. So you've got 29 points available. Plus a couple there. And then any you haven't done in that thing there. Let's see if we've got any... Are there any free rewards? Zero star rules? There is. There is a Van Persie. So basically, the Van Persie is required for the Van Persie section. So that means you've got the cards. You've got the lone Van Persie. And then I'm assuming everything else is the same. Yep, up to 95. That's okay. That's something else for people to work towards. So let's go store, then let's go SBC, and we'll leave it there for today. Um, all my rewards for today and the packs and stuff like that, I'm leaving until tomorrow for whatever ultimate team of season we get. Do we have a 10-coin pack? We don't. 
We've just got other ones available there. Elite cheer pack. Yeah, no thank you. No thank you. And that looks like everything there. Yeah, I'm going to keep my packs until the ultimate team of the season is out. Obviously, they'll take the top two or three players. Ooh, we've got Federica Chiesa. Now, I'm interested in him for sure. My Serie A left wing could definitely do with an upgrade. And that is a nice looking card. Right footed, five foot nine, which means his agility and balance is going to be high. 95 dribbling underlines that. Perfect pace. Really good shooting and passing, 92 for each. Physical is good as well. Dribble, defending doesn't matter. Left wing two. Yeah, I am all over this card. I'm having this card in my club. Yeah, that's nice. Outside of foot shot trait is good. I'd rather have that over flair. And he's got a moment's card. It's a nice card. I'm going to play him at left wing. But what is going to be expensive, surely? 84, 87, 88, 89. I mean, it's probably going to be worth it. It's going to be obviously expensive. But I think just for the basics, I've got... Uh, with this, always the prime consideration is who can you put in to get something out? Now, with... Um, a position like this, where it's like one of the main squads I use. I haven't got a left wing. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I mean, it gives it gives me two, three good cards already I can put in. Like Di Maria, as much as I've used that over 200 games. I mean, the Chiesa card is better in pretty much every aspect. The same with Liao. I've been using him recently as well. 62 games. But the Chiesa one just, just beats them both. So, I'm sorry, those cards are going to be going. We're going to be getting a Chiesa in the club, which is a good card. To do it, even the defensive awareness at 81 is better than you would expect. Attacking positioning, he's going to get into the box when it's the right time to. Good dribbling, agility, composure is above 90. 90 is where you want them, and the physical is still decent as well. He's not good in the air, which is fine for 5 for 9. That is a really nice card. A little pricey, yes, but I'll take it. He's If you look at, compared to the Foden, yes, the Foden can go up to 94. But he's got better pace, better shooting, better passing. Dribbling is fairly level, but Foden's still got one below 90. The defending is better for Chiesa, not that that's a massively important thing. And the physicals, Chiesa wins, he's got 10 on aggression, 20 on strength. And he's 4 star, 4 star as well. They're quite similar otherwise. And what was Foden? 85, 88, 89, 90. So Foden's more expensive. Yes, he can rise. But personally, I'm going to go with that Chiesa. Absolutely fine for me. The 86 double times 3 is back. We are going to be doing those if I can. I'm going to be doing some more upgrades. Both of these upgrades to be able to get me to afford these, hopefully. Uh, draft token is still here. 80 plus is still here. Serie A upgrade is still here. We will try that again. E Champions League final is still here. Oh my word, there's too... I was about to say there's too much fodder. Throwback marquee matchups. Woo, okay. A mega pack. Jumbo Gold, Premium Electrum, Small Prime Gold, Prime Electrum. That's going to be good. They're decent. They're better rewards than normal. And then Daily Login, which we'll do straight away. Because I've talked so much about the new season stuff, I'm not going to open any packs now, just because the video's already been going on for a long time already. So we will... Oh, what is that? Every time you don't leave it too long, it kicks you out. Need to get that menu bit up, and then they need to wait, and then they need to let it go on. But there we go. So yeah, on the left, team of season. Okay, that's a that was the Norwegian striker and a Norwegian striker. So is that not Haaland and Haaland, or is that saying Haaland team of season Haaland special card? Oh, we're not even going to go to the menu. We're going to get the splash splash screen. We are. 
That does that not look like Haaland's team of season then, and Haaland's a special card for having an amazing season. But yeah, maybe, maybe not. So let's put this one in. We'll open the one pack. It's gonna be better than nothing. There's yeah, there's a lot of content today. We're gonna to need to grind some of the upgrades to make sure that we've got enough things that we can actually put into these packs and then see if we get lucky. Obviously, there's no shapeshifters in packs yet because the only ones um, released and made available are the Cruise and the Silver and they are in the Season Reward, which people can't get to because of the XP required. Uh, so yeah, no new players technically added into packs today in any way, shape or form. We've just got the, the, like the, the teasing, like the prospect of a Cruise and a Silver in future um, possibilities. That's Ricardo Pereira. Again, he's one of the most popular pops at the moment for a rare golds. Is he going to be a duplicate? No, I'm surprised. There we go. Right, we'll end the video there. We have the new Shapeshifters promo. We have Tony Cruz. We have Thiago Silva, the Chelsea striker slash um, defender. But for me, best content of today, Enrico Chiesa. That is a decent looking card. Add into that, throwback marquee matchups, the daily login SPC. The draft token upgrade again is there. Serie R 81 plus times 11. The 5 times 84 pack from the E-League thing. And then the 86 double upgrade that's repeatable three times. It's a lot of content for today at this time of season. And it's the time of season that we want lots of content. Lots of upgrade packs that we can work towards. Because that's when the big cards are in packs. It makes sense. It's good. That's what we like. Personally. Obviously you may like something different. But me... I like content, I like new players, I like the chance of being able to earn and pack uh, decent cards. And we've got 20, 23 hours left of the Serie A team of season and we're going to be trying our best to pack some of them. So yeah, I'll end the video there. Thank you for watching. I will speak to you this time tomorrow uh, where we will see what Friday brings. Potentially the ultimate team of season. We will have to wait and see. But yeah, other than that, I'll end the video there. Thank you for watching. Good luck with whatever packs you open, you pick. If I get anything good in mind, I'll upload them onto as shorts or something like that. And But other than that, I wish you well, and I'll speak to you tomorrow. Thank you, and goodbye.